Hey, thanks for joining the show today. On the show, I have a really cool method called the box method, and that's when you're subtracting with zeros. I'll show you what I mean. For example, let's say I have a problem called with 402 minus 73, okay? Our first step that we always want to look at is we subtract the ones first, then we subtract the tens, and then you subtract the hundreds, and then regroup if needed. Hello, kitty. I got my cat on the show. He's pretty good at, uh, she's pretty good at math. Okay, so I take a look here to see if I need to regroup. My top number is two and my bottom number is three. If my top number is smaller, that means I need to regroup. So I do need to regroup. So I look over next door and there's nothing here. There's no number right here. So that means I need to go over to the hundreds place to borrow. So there's a trick. Before what I would do is I would cross out the four and put a three here. And then I would have to take that and make this a 10. Then I would have to borrow from the 10 to make this a 12, all right? So this would be a 39, and then this would be 12. A lot of stuff here going on. I'm gonna show you an easier way. So let me rewrite this problem here. This was 402 minus 73. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 40 right here, and I am going to make a box around this, okay? And what is one less than 40? You're right, 39. So I put 39 right here, okay? Then I can take that 10 and add it to the two here. So that will be 12, cross out the two, okay? So now I can subtract 12 minus three, you bet, nine. Nine minus seven, seven, eight, nine, it's two. Then I just drop down the three, okay? So let's take a problem here. We're gonna take a new problem. We're gonna take 600, all right, minus 312. Okay. Whoa, we got a zero right there. That's nothing. Zero minus two, you can't do it. You don't have enough. All right, so you need to make that number bigger. I need to borrow from next door. I can't do it, okay? Because there's nothing here. So I need to go even over to the next house over here, to six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a box around this. Don't make a, the common mistake where you put a box around everything here, no because you're going to the next door here. All right, so you can put a box around the 60 right here. All right, and I'm gonna take uh, 60 minus one, which would be 59. All right, and that was a 10. So I put a one right here. All right, is 10 plus zero is 10. So now I have 10 minus two, what is that? Thank you, that is eight. Nine minus one, awesome. That is eight also. Eight plus one is nine. Five minus three, three, four, five. That's right, two. Guys are awesome, 288. 600 minus 312 is 288. Let's do another one. I like this box method, it's really fun. Here, let me show you how to do it on this problem here. 400. minus 167, okay? First of all, you subtract the ones. Can I do it? No, I have zero. I wanna take away seven, don't have enough. I need to make this number bigger. All right, so I go next door. Hello, do you have any uh, numbers I can, I can borrow? I don't have it. Go next door. So I'm going next door to, to the hundreds place. So what I do is I'm gonna draw a line right here because I'm going next door, I'm on my way right here, nothing, so I keep on going. I found somebody that has some, some that I can borrow from, so I just make a box around here. Make math fun, it's really fun to do math, and if you make it fun, it just goes a lot easier. So I'm gonna take uh, one away from 40, which will be 39. 
I'm taking that 10, adding it over here. So that is a 10 right there. If you don't like just putting the one there, you can always cross this out and make a 10 here. All right, same number. 10 minus seven. I got seven, eight, nine, 10. Seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, three. Nine minus six. Thank you. That is three also. Three minus one. What is it? One, two, three, <laughs> two. 233 is your answer. You guys want to do one more? Sure you do. Let's do it. If you have fun with math, you're going to learn it a lot faster. All right, let's do one more. Let's do the problem 500 minus 321. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and do this problem right now and just pause the video. Okay. All right, welcome back. Okay, um, first of all, subtract the ones. Can I subtract? No, I have zero here, one. Don't have enough, I need to regroup. Go next door, let's go next door. Can I, is there any number that I can take away from there? No, they're empty, they're out of milk, they're out of bread. Let's go, keep on going to next door. Hey, we got some we can take from this guy. All right, so what you do is you make a box right here. 50 minus one. That's right, 49. Okay, add that 10 plus here. Okay, don't make it 11. It's 10, okay? What is 10 minus one? <laughs> yes, nine, great job. You guys are doing awesome. Nine minus two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is it? Seven. Seven sent from heaven. My uh, nephew uh, was a... Uh, uh, played soccer and his number was seven and they always in the in the crowd they would say hey number seven sent from a from heaven or was it number 11 11 sent from heaven one of those but anyway had a cool rhyme to it four minus three one did you get that i hope you did so this is called the box method it's a cool way on how to subtract when you're doing regrouping I hope you had fun. Check out our other math videos on here. We have all kinds of fun drawing videos. And like always, have a fun day. Adios. Bye-bye.